What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Money and Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Elite action figure review on the WWE Elite Series 107 Finn Balor. Now, if you follow the channel for any amount of time, you know that Finn Balor is one of my favorite wrestlers in the world. I love Finn Balor. I think he's a fantastic wrestler, fantastic talent. Guy's ripped to shreds. He can do pretty much any character, babyface, heel. Man's got it all. And today, we're taking a look at an updated Finn Balor because we do have our Judgment Day Finn Balor. Been waiting a little bit for this. Not a perfect figure. I have my gripes. Everybody clicking on the video probably knows. I'm probably going to be pretty picky about this because about my favorite guys, I'm pretty picky about the figures. You know, I'll call out the things that I think need to be adjusted and whatnot, and I know it's not a perfect figure before we even crack it out of the packaging. So we're going to take a look at that, man. I do hate that this figure came in later than our top 25 WWE elites of the year. Would this have made it on the list? I don't know, but we'll find out at the end of the video, possibly, but the rest of Elite 107 should be coming in very soon. Can't wait for that wave, but I guess this guy will be included in the next year's top 25 or top 10 or whatever the hell we do if he indeed does make the count but here it is front viewing window front viewing window we do have Finjamin Balor right here handsome man right there looking good we got a shot of the figure brand new packaging elite 107 nice shot of the man on the side there of course on the back you do get an image of him wearing his mask you got the bio read right there and then we do have the rest of the figures in the wave which I'm pretty excited for can't wait for the rest of these now originally when I reviewed this I thought it would be with a solo or a Grayson or an Undertaker or something but now my reviews are going to be uneven so I guess we'll probably do solo by himself? I don't know. Finn Balor on the side. And that pretty much wraps up our packaging, man. But we only have one figure here today, so it's kind of sad, kind of weird. But let's put this guy on the rotating base, find out what he's all about, and see if indeed Finn Balor Elite 107 is worth a damn. So here we have the prints out of the packaging, man. Really impressed with the accessories of this guy. I, re I really am enjoying the figure so far. You know, uh, of course, though, I do have my gripes that we're going to get into, man. I'll break it all down for you. You guys can be the judges for yourself, pun intended, there for the Judgment Day. And today is Judgment Day for this Finn Balor. We're going to dive into his accessories, of course, take a closer look at him, and then we're going to get into some comparisons. Get into the figure itself, dive into all the deep lore of Finn Balor figures, and showcase what I do and don't like about the figure, of course. But with that being said, man, let's shut the hell up. Dive into the Finn Balor accessories, and then we're run it back and take a closer look at the Finn Balor figure itself. Alright man, so for our Finn Balor Elite 107, I have to say you do get quite a bit of accessories. I'm excited for the accessories. I think they're good accessories besides one head sculpt, which we're going to dive into of course, but let's dive into it here and start things off with our Cloth Goods hoodie jacket. This is a great piece, man. It's got a really, it's not the traditional Mattel feel. It's almost got like a silkyish feel to it, or maybe it's like 50% silk or something. It's got a real slick feel to it. It's not the standard t-shirt mold, which you guys will notice. I'm trying to think. It kind of feels like the ringside exclusive coffin drop Darby Allen body bag. That's kind of what it's, it feels like. And I know that's very specific and very weird, but that's the only thing I can conflate it to. It's got that shimmer to it or whatever. It also, one thing I really love on the zipper jackets is they stitch a really thin strip of that silver cloth right in there and it makes it look like the zipper. I think that's such a unique thing, but no pockets or anything. It does have an operational hoodie, no bendy wires or anything. Maybe one day when the figures are $47 a piece, but this looks good. I really like this jacket. It fits the figure well. And, you know, you pick this guy up on clearance or whatever the hell, you could throw like, you could throw this on like 75 different people in your wrestling figure collection. Or, hell, this could go outside your wrestling figure collection. Marvel Legends, probably any any figure company, these jackets are going to fit on there pretty decently, I imagine. Now, getting into the head sculpts. The Elite 82 head sculpt is what we have here. And a head sculpt that was fine for the era. Now, one thing I do wish is that they would have elongated the hair. I think this works okay, but I really want you know, a grown out hair. I, I'm, I've been begging Mattel for years to have like the, the short hair head sculpt with the fade on the side that tapers into the beard from the thin or like from like a fade beard into the thickness on the bottom. Same thing for Roman Reigns, been begging for it for years. Not a bad head sculpt, but certainly would have liked to seen a new one, but I guess it does pass on this Elite 107. Now we also have a couple, uh, a lot of people dubbing them the Kanye West mask. Now we have two different versions here. You have this black smooth version, which is pretty cool helmet and then you have this spiked version which is pretty cool as well. Now the spiked version has these little studs on it. It is all matte black or what have you but there is no uh, stuff on the back so you could you know make a mask guy or something out of this and then you could also make a mask guy out of this right here. Kind of reminds me of like Cobra Commander or something. I actually watched G.I. Joe Retaliation last night for no reason. I just love Storm Shadow in that film so I was watching that but the faded haircut right here the sculpt looks really really good right there in the back so that looks awesome. I think they did a great job on that the smoothness but you get two different interchangeable heads 
sculpts. Three if you count the Elite 82, but these are really cool. I just really wish I would have sacrificed both mast head sculpts for the correct tapered beard head sculpt, but hopefully we will get one in 2024. And outside of that, we do got the world going around mic holding hands. On the left hand, we do have his space tattoo or his, you know, end of the world tattoo. And then we do get the hands that I love is the shooter hands, you know, back from his New Japan days all the way up until now. He does have the shooter hands, which are awesome. It does feature the tattoo, and we've seen these for a while since Elite 82, I think, was the first time we saw these. So it's been a minute. It's been like 25 series, but I do appreciate these hands. Need a new Ultimate Edition Finn Balor. Whether it's non-demon or demon, I would really like to see a new Finn Balor in Ultimate Edition form. Something that's interesting on this is I actually just noticed this. There was a sticker over Finn Balor's name, and I guess it's because they didn't have the little, I don't know the specific name for that, but the symbol that I guess gives the A the ah sound. So it's not Finn Balor or Finn Balor. You know, I think adding that little schmutz above the A right there does make it ah, like Balor. So they did, uh, I guess they messed up on that. So they had to stick a sticker on there, which we've seen that in the past. But when I saw the sticker, I was thinking to myself, oh God, what if like this was supposed to be a different character? So I did rip it off just to see. But yeah, that's interesting. All right, man. So getting into the Elite 107 Finn Balor, I did want to put the smooth head sculpt on there just to see what it looked like. And he looks a lot like Mewtwo from the Pokemon movie from like 2000 or whatever. And he looks badass. Not going to lie to you. I actually like this. I do like it. I think it's bad A. You got the beard coming underneath. You get even the faded haircut in the back. So that looks really good. But we already looked at the other head sculpt. So I just wanted to see what this looks like. Now going down to the torso, they did use the money torso. This is the perfect torso for Finn Balor. They should never change this. If they were to change it, it better be to Ricochet's torso. That's the only options. You have this and Ricochet's torso. Don't ever, ever change the torso. So this looks really, really good. You do have the dual black sleeves. Now on this left sleeve, you do get the Finn Balor X right there, which I like in the purple for the Judgment Day. And then going down to the crotch piece, I'm pretty sure this is the Usos crotch piece. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same one. It even has the towel coming out of the back there. And if you look closely, it looks like they did. It almost looks like there's some sculpt added into the pocket hole or something right there on that left side. You guys see that? You can kind of see like the outline of where a pocket used to be, but we do have this like rubber towel in the back that's a purple color, which is nice. Going down, I do believe this is a new leg mold. This is new legs, I'm pretty sure, from the thigh up here all the way to the ankle. God knows these damn shoes ain't new. But you do have the purple in the inner lining, which I like, and these are pinless joints, which is cool, but oh man, they're tightness, and they are very, very short. And another thing that I noticed about this figure is on the back right here, I'm pretty sure, like, you guys can see the X right there, and then in a shiny black, you can see where it says the C, and then the E, you know, because he has print going on the leg, but then it doesn't continue up here. I'm pretty sure he never had just CE on there with the X. So I don't know what's going on there. You guys can see the E right there, and then there's a C with the X, but there's no I or R or N or P. So I don't, I guess that's a fact. I don't know what's going on there, but the towel does cover it, so I guess that's how they uh, made up for that. Like, oh, well, the towel covers it, so it's not that big of a deal. I don't know, or it maybe covered it up when they were painting it on. I don't know. I don't know how all that works, of course, but one thing that's awesome is the Jordan 1 Customs right here, which the guy that made these, I think it's Match Customs or Mash Customs or something on Instagram. Been following him for, I want to say, a very long time. Like, very long time. He may have been one of the first people I ever followed on Instagram, unless I'm confusing him with someone else, but I have followed him for a long time. Nonetheless, the Custom Jordan ones, of course, they don't have the swoosh on there, but they do have everything else. They have the paneling, and they do have the Balor logos on the back, which is a nice touch, even though that one's backwards. So that's kind of stupid. But you do get some of those Jordan 1 colorways in there with the purple and whatnot, and he's worn certain, you know, he's worn white versions and different mismatched versions, but I hate this damn shoe mold. Now, looking at at this Finn Balor figure, man. I mean, like, standing back, is it me or it kind of looks like he has, like, no neck on there? Kind of looks like he's, like, kind of got a stumpy neck. It's not too, too bad, but I don't know, man. Like, this, from the crotch up or from the waist up, it's the same articulation you've seen. It's it's pretty buttery smooth. I think they do a good job on Finn Balor. He doesn't feel loose and all that, but he is on ball joints, so he can do the splitsies and all this. Upper thigh cut. God, I wish he had shin cut. It would just make this figure feel a lot better in hand, but the pinless joints, very tight as always. Ankle pivot is non-existent. It's very loose. The feet are going to be very loose, but... <sighs> God. I don't know, man. Just, I just don't like the pinless joints with these skinny jogger legs. It's kind of got the Ultimate Edition Usos, Elite 106 Usos vibes, where it's just so tight, and then you throw in those loose feet, and you just know it's going to fall over a hundred times. My Usos are the only figures that fall off my shelf over there, but, oh, man, let's get into some Finn Balor figure comparisons. All right, so for your Finn Balor figure comparisons, man, I want to get into the lore a little bit, and we're going to dive even deeper into the lore as we go here, but just kind of uh, looking at this. Now, I do have, this is just a fix-up. I turned my extra of the top 
top talents into a Tony Nese Elite. So I don't have that figure stock anymore. I fix it up with some different stuff. This is the Elite 82 fix up. I put like some PWR Lucha Judgment Day shirt and my custom BW head sculpt that I think should be on this figure. This is how this figure should have came or very close to it. Then you have the stock Elite 82 Finn Balor, which was the last release. You guys can see the head sculpts, of course. And then we have the Elite 74 Finn Balor, which is one of my favorite Mattels of all time. But And we're going to get into some demon comparisons because I want to just break this down for you. So you guys will notice immediately this is the Elite 82 Finn Balor and this is the Elite 107. And the Elite 82 is taller and it's simply because the legs are bigger. So it does make him a little bit shorter. You know, I just wish things were consistent across the board. I, I don't like getting a figure that's shorter than the previous releases. And I understand different formulas, but I feel like you got to really nail your formulas to make sure and ensure that that does not happen. But you guys can see he used to have really big thighs. Now this is where even more craziness comes in, all right? So even his demon figures, if we bring in the Entrance Greats demon, you bring in the NXT TakeOver Dallas Network Spotlight demon, they've always shared the exact same thighs. These all have the exact same thighs. Now, bringing up images of Finn Balor's thighs, there's a reason that this man has big thighs on his figures because he has gigantic thighs, man. He has big thighs. He has big, muscular thighs. And I think that these thighs worked perfectly. I didn't have a problem with it. But then, something that blew me away, I think it was an Elite Series... What the hell was it? In Elite Series 98, they gave the damn man Daniel Bryan legs. And so you see, when they changed the formula to the Daniel Bryan thighs, which I had a huge issue with, because again, they make him too short right here, and they make him have these baby thighs. Now when he gets to Judgment Day Finn Balor, and they have to put him in joggers, now he's the exact same height, or very close to, I mean, he's even shorter than this demon right here, but now he's even closer to that height, when I think they should have went back to the larger thigh mold and made it like this. Now, I guess the question then becomes, were they making him too tall? And I guess you could say maybe so. I mean, he's 5'11", 6 foot, but maybe that's generous. I don't know. I, you know, I don't know the lore there, but I don't know, man. I just really wish he wasn't so damn tiny, and I think this leg mold is what makes him tiny, and I don't really know how to fix it, so that makes me upset. But yeah, I just want to go over the leg lore and just kind of describe why this figure frustrates me so much, because I really think the thicker thigh mold worked better for him, and uh, yeah, now he's now he's like super tiny, so I guess this demon matches up with him, but yeah, I, I definitely prefer the thicker leg mold, but sorry for the ranting and all the yapping, but let's get into some other figure comparisons. So here's Finn Balor up next to our Judgment Day, man. We have our Damian Priest Elite in the purple. We have our Elite 105 Dom that I fixed up a little bit, and then we do have our fix-up Rhea missing some tattoos and whatnot. We do have an Elite 110 Rhea coming, gonna be, I guess, late 2024 now, I imagine, but it'll be in white, so I, I don't even know, man. Hopefully we get another Rhea Ripley in there. Hopefully she'll be in like Ultimate Edition 22 or something. Uh, God, I hope so. But it's cool to see all these up next to each other. We've been waiting to get our, our Judgment Day. So, you know, you can put these on the shelf and whatnot or, you know, however you want to do. Now, I did add some different stuff. If I find some more Dominic Mysterios, I'm definitely going to buy some more for that t-shirt and whatnot. But these look really good up next to each other and it is cool to have all of these guys up next to each other for our Judgment Day. And I like my fix-ups here. I know a lot of people give me a hard time about my, my Rhea Ripley, but they did create a more broader Rhea Ripley. So I wasn't crazy, all right? The Elite 110 is going to be very similar to this, hopefully with just a shorter neck. But I don't know. I, I think it passes. It looks pretty good. But that does it for... Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, it does not do it for our freaking comparisons here because I want to take a look at this. Now, Now this Palm Angel shirt right here is pretty cool. And I think if... Uh, maybe if I pop this head sculpt up here, I think that's going to be possible. Let's find out. All right, so I did pop it off and now I can pop this on here and hopefully don't get any paint chipping or anything but this is the way I really wish this figure would have came look at that right there man that's pretty damn nice yep like that even though I feel like he's too short still, I still like the way all of that looks. So yeah, that's good. And then of course we do have this shirt that would look really good on this figure as well, but it's kind of a pain in the ace to get this on there. So ah, for one last comparison, here's the Supreme Edition Kenny Omega and the other Supreme Edition Kenny Omega up next to the new Elite 107 Finn Balor. Will we see these in a squared circle? Maybe. Uh, one thing I also want to take a look at is the Elite Championship right here. Just kind of slide this guy on the guy. Just, you know, just uh, take a little look-see-look-see -look -see at this right here and yeah, that looks pretty damn schnazzy if I do say so myself. So, yeah, pretty, pretty damn cool, man. <laughs> 
But I think that pretty much wraps up our review of the WWE Elite Series 107 Finn Balor, man. You know, man, it just really disappoints me. I mean, you guys already know how I feel about the John Cena shoe mold. This shoe mold, this specific shoe mold right here that is on this Finn Balor has existed since 2009, like late 2009, early 2010. I'm pretty sure. Elite 3 John Cena. I mean, it's 2010. I know at least a decade. It's been over a decade now. We've seen this shoe mold on countless figures. It is time to retire this shoe mold and get it to hell out of my face. It's way too loose. It doesn't have ankle pivot. It's era is gone. This shoe mold needs to retire. However, not only that, this is a brand new leg mold, okay? I'm pretty sure this is a reused crotch, but the thighs of this are slightly different than Montez Ford, and I'm pretty sure this, this leg mold from the top down is completely new. It's a shorter jogger mold, and while it doesn't look bad aesthetically, I hate that there's no calf cut. I can't stand that. I think that calf cut really just adds to the feel of the figure. It, it allows for a lot better articulation and feel in hand and such. Making this leg mold to too short. It made him way too short. Now, there's a different way you can look at it. Is this figure the accurate height, or is he too short? Personally, I thought the other Finn Balor formula that we took a look at, you know, with his first demon, with all the different elites we've seen, even the Elite 82, Finn Balor has jack thighs, and I think that this new Finn Balor, his legs should have looked like the last legs, but black, right? Because he's wearing joggers, so it should probably have some cloth over it, so I don't know, man. I just think that the legs make him very small, and he's not like a huge human being, man. But I just thought that the, the other Finn Balor's really worked better for him. However, I do like the jogger mold for Finn Balor. I like having this right here because this is a really good base. I mean, you could say for a promo style Finn Balor. You could add some shirts, add some accessories, and make a Finn Balor from back in his NXT days. You could make a Finn Balor just promo gear from 2017 or 16 or whatever you want to do there, which is cool. I like the gear. I like the double sleeves. I wish they didn't use the Elite 82 head sculpt. I really, you know, I've been clamoring for it for years, much like Roman. Reigns. Just like the custom I showed you guys, very similar to that, where it's a tapered beard and haircut, like a longer haircut I would have preferred with the tapered off beard. Still waiting for that in 2024. Hopefully that will be the case. But I love Finn Balor. I love the accessories. I like the figure, but it just could be so much better. And I really do like that they gave him the custom Jordan 1 kicks. And so to see that work in figure form is really awesome, even though they couldn't put the swooshes on there. I don't know what I'm going to do there. I hate the shoe mold. I'm going to play around with some different stuff. We may add the swooshes and keep this figure just like it is. I may play around with some stuff. It is on ball joints, so you might could make some different things work. I feel like the other Uso Jogger mold is probably a little bit too long or big, like from his Ultimate Editions. And then you have the SummerSlam Elite Joggers, which are probably a little bit too bulky. So it's just, I don't know, man. There's a lot of weirdness going on. It's just one of those things where they probably need to go back to the drawing board when it comes to the shoes and whatnot. But I love the jacket. I like the mask head sculpts. Would have preferred, you know, maybe one mask head sculpt and then the head sculpt that I preferred, but I guess it wasn't in the budget plan. But I know I'm rambling and yapping on, so I'm going to wrap it, but I just wanted to get that out there, man. I just think that this figure could have been so much better, but I do enjoy the figure, and not to mention his, I'm pretty sure the print on his pants, on his joggers there, are not continuous. It's supposed to be on the back of the thigh going down into the calf, and I think the towel prevented that. I'm not entirely sure how that works, but nonetheless, man, if you guys want to grab this figure, you can do so over Ringside Collectibles, and I'm not sure if it's still in stock. I know that the rest of the wave was on back order. I don't know if this one is specifically. I guess we'll have to see about that, but I hope to see Finn Balor in person at the Royal Rumble. Still working on getting that trip solidified. So if you guys are going to the Royal Rumble, I would I would like to see you guys. If you guys are going out there to Tampa, hopefully I'll be able to make my way out there, man. But I like this. I'm glad to have a Judgment Day Finn Balor. I just think that in terms of my own selfish needs, I would like to see a better rendition of Finn Balor with some better part choices. And I want a Finn Balor that can really pose around and feel great in hand. And I felt like we used to get those. And now that's kind of a thing of the past that I'd like to see come back, especially with the double-jointed era and all the different things we have going on, man. But that is pretty much going to wrap the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd like to know what your thoughts are down below on the Elite 107 Finn Balor. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Huge shout out to those fellas over there. I appreciate each and every single one of you guys so very much. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later.